Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel Ginaldi. So I've just finished first term of my second year of studying psychology and you know, so I'm about to take you guys through a day in the life at Barnsley and show you guys how I actually balance like my football and university. So just the ins and outs of it, you know, what I've done to stay on top of my assignments, my exams and everything. So make sure you guys watch till the end to see what grade I got in my first term of the second year of studying psychology. Let's go. As you can see, I'm really feeling this tracksuit. It's the latest collection from Foreign Expenses. Make sure you check out their Instagram and their website. All the information will be in the description below. So usually I try and come in early just to do some foam rolling and stretching before going to breakfast and that. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's go to the gym. So done with the foam rolling and stretching now, just about to head up to breakfast, then we got a meeting and then, you know, get ready for training. Come on, let's get it. Wrist strap before training and that before we head out, save them shots. Training done, about to with my tech ball partner Joe. Tech ball key. <laughs> about to whip him quickly at this game quick. Let's go, look at that man, look at the scenes. Oh. Living the dream. Let me see something.
Um, out here, about to maybe play some table tennis, get showered, head home, quick. <laughs> Let's go. Yo guys, so I'm back home with my little setup here on my study table. So usually when I get in from training or gym and stuff like that, I just usually come straight here and just get to work. I just start, you know, seeing what I have on today, seeing if, if I need to watch back my lectures, if I need to do some assignments or get some of my work done. So yeah, having a nice open space where you can you know, get your work done and having things set up is really nice. Helps me keep stay organized and that, but like, you know, times like this where I come back from training where I'm just feeling slumped. Like some days I come back and I'm just like, I really can't be bothered. But like every day I just have to come sit down here and just get some work at least just to make sure I'm staying on top of it. It's just that discipline that I've been talking about. I've got my my stationery, my notebooks, you know, some revision materials and that. My laptop right in front of me and that so all this stuff is important helping me you know stay on top of it and balancing it so just to give you an update on my last video of how i balance football and university i talked about how i like sort out my folders for each module just to make sure i'm staying on top of my work and you know sort out what's actually going to be happening in each module and that so as you can see this is term one term one modules this is term two modules and if you just take a look last time i done the video all the folders were basically empty but now you can just see all the PowerPoints, the assignments and everything, all the work I need to do, you know, on each of the term one modules. So this is what I've just been doing for the last four or five months. You know, every day I come back home from training and just bang on it, <laughs> try and get the work done, watch my lectures back and everything. So my three exams for my three modules were all in January, but I started revising for all of them back in October because there's just so much information that I needed to know and revise for that. Like, there's like 12 different topics in each module. So in order to obviously get my revision done properly and that, I started doing mind maps. So as you can see here, mind maps based off of each topic. So every week when I was watching the lectures back, just made sure I did the mind maps from the notes and everything and did it in a way that I could like understand it. So now in order to revise from it, I'll just take maybe 10 minutes out of my day just to you know read over it and the repetition of that over time so then now i got to the point where by the time the exam comes all this information is normal to me that was only for one module though for my other module you know social psychology and biopsychology i i used a different revision method i started writing down flashcards based off of you know each lecture and each topic so in my flashcards for the for the different topics i got them in different colors just so i can know which topic it's from when i'm revising it and all that information so yeah these are just some revision techniques that help me you know for my exam in general and like they're quite effective as i said you know just the repetition of just understanding the knowledge and everything over time so since i started back in october and you know to january that's like two two three months now two, three months continuous repetition of that information, it just helps you understand it. So for my three exams in January, they were all online, but they were at a specific set time, which clashed with training. So I had to miss training at some point just to get my exams done. So what I had to do, I had to speak with the manager and he was okay with it because you know he appreciates the fact that I'm balancing football and education. So speaking to the club and the manager, they allowed me time off just so I can get my exam done and everything. Let me tell you guys about the types of topics I've been studying because it has a major impact on how I like, successfully balance it because if it's not interesting, I'm not really going to be motivated to do it and stuff like that. So term one, we've just been studying stuff like consciousness, gender identity, like the psychobiology of addiction, the neuroscience of aging. So all these things are like interesting topics. So, you know, when I get home from training and everything, I'm actually motivated to obviously learn more about it so enough of that chit chat let's see if all these things i've been talking about the revision notes you know coming home being disciplined getting my work done how i've organized my folders and lectures let's see if it actually really works so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys my results for term one what i got in my four assignments and my three exams go check it out here now 
and here it is. So one, two, and three modules in my first term and here are my provisional grades. So I got two one, first coursework, two one on the, on the exam, two one on the coursework. And I got first on the exam for that second module, got first on this online assessment for the third module and a two one on the coursework. Hmm, that's decent, you know. So you can see that these things actually work. So those are some steady grades, isn't it? Comment beyond football down below if you're rating that. Come on, I'm really, I'm, I'm rating that. I don't know if that's a 2-1 or whether it's a first class overall for my first term, but I'm happy that I've been working hard behind the scenes. Once again, showing you guys that it's possible to successfully balance university and pro football. So make sure you guys remember to like, comment and subscribe. And beyond football gang, we're out.